And welcome back to another modding tutorial. This one is for setting up MCP for Minecraft 1.3.1 and if you have seen my other tutorial um, then you should basically know the gist of how to do it but um, and if you haven't seen it before then this is how to do it so anyway um, this is the MCP so the Minecraft Coder Pack page all you have to do is look up MCP Minecraft this will also be in the description just to make things a little easier but if say I haven't put it in the description yet this is what you have to search which is just MCP Minecraft. It's pretty simple. Um, all you have to do is just um, go down here and then download the newest version. If they have a zero or version 7.0b or something, down download the newest version. Like, just download the newest version. Don't have you don't have to ask. Do I download the newest version? Just do it. So. Um, yeah, just click the file here to download it. It obviously says download the file. Um, and that is all good. So that is it for this page. With Eclipse, all I did, with, like all you have to do is just look up Eclipse and you'll go to eclipse.org. Um, this will, the download page will also be in the description. But um, this is just how to navigate the page. Um, you just have to go into the downloads and then download the newest version. Um, if you still have Eclipse Classic um, 3.7.2 then it, it works fine. Um, this, this is just probably I haven't downloaded this yet but um, I think it's just some minor bug fixes and stuff. But all you have to do is just choose for which um, thing you're using it for. So if, you're, if you have a Windows, this works for Windows, this tutorial, um, then just go Windows or if you have Linux, go Linux. But I have um, a Mac, so I'm going Mac. And then you want to do Eclipse Classic 4.2. And then download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit. So I normally do 64-bit. Just go into here. And then you want to download um, from this link here, um, whatever link it is. So this is the sort of mirror link um, that um, this comes from so just click on like just really just here um, and it'll download so that is it for that and then for mod loader so um, if you're wondering just look up mod loader if you don't know how to do that already um, go down here and then go mod loader 1.3.1 make sure it's 1.3.1 and then download it with either adfly which will um, give the creators a little bit of extra money if you download it through that you just have to wait five seconds or if you've downloaded it a million times like I have and you really want to do this right now you don't have five seconds to um, um, wait then you can just do direct download which will just directly download it for you so that is that um, this is the MCP you're going to get so as you can see it says right here MCP 7 it says 70, but it it's 7.0a because you can't actually have a decimal up there. So it's 70a, and this is what it looks like, completely untouched and everything. And then we go into this. So what you need first is a completely clean Minecraft dot jar, um, or like just if you're on Windows, then it's just a completely clean like Minecraft folder. Um, so what you want to do is go into your library, application support, Minecraft, bin, and you want to copy the bin. So Command C, or you can go Edit, um, Copy Bin, and then you want to go into the jars, which is in your MCP folder. So whether your MCP folder is in your downloads or whatever, it's. Um, just inside your MCP folder here, you want to go into the jars and then paste it. So I just went Command V into your jars. So now um, this is like my downloads. Well, yeah, just like the computer's downloads directory. And then the jar, like I'm inside the MCP, which is in here somewhere, right here. 
So it's MCP jar bin. So that should be all good. Then you want to go into your bin, and we don't even need this page anymore. We're completely done. This is a completely untouched Minecraft.jar. Make sure about that. Um, you just want to unarchive it. So um, right click, open with, and then archive utility, or whatever you use, which will work for you or whatever. And then rename this one um, backup minecraft.jar just in case you know you mess something up. And then in here, do not rename this um, .jar like you would if you were just regular, regularly installing mods. Just keep it Minecraft. Go into here. I'm just going to do by kind just to make this a little easier. You want to delete meta inf because that'll stop some things from happening. And this is your mod loader folder. So the mod loader that you downloaded right here, you want to go Command A, or you can just um, click on the top one and then Shift, and then click down here. Just make sure that they're all selected. Um, you want to copy them, so Command C, and then paste them, so Command V. And you're going to get this little thing here, and then go Apply to All, and Replace. So now that that is done, if you already have your images made, I have a tutorial on how to make the images and stuff. Um, if you have them made right now, then this is perfect. Um, this is what my items folder is here, so it's got my blocks and stuff in it. Um, the next tutorial will be how to update your mod, so don't worry. Um, you want to get your items folder. This one is in an old, like, MCP. so. But you just want to get your items folder that has all your items and stuff and just copy it and paste it in here. Or if it's not in a folder, whatever, just make sure your items are in here. If you don't have them yet, it's fine. Um, my tutorial um, on how to actually create images, which I believe is number four, episode four of how to make a mod. You can go back. It'll say 1.2.5, but it still works, obviously. Um, we'll show you how to put in your images after you've already done Eclipse and stuff, and you've done coding, and then you want to put in your images, if that makes any sense. So with that done, um, this is your, like, inside your MCP and your jar, your bin, your Minecraft here, just to make sure you know where we are. Um, so you want to copy them all, so um, Command A. So, like, select them all is command A. I'm not sure where that is on the... Oh, yes, yeah, so select all. It's also right in here. Select all, so command A. And then you want to um, right-click and then go compress. And yours might say 1,280 or 1,282. It's fine. I get questions about that. Um, it's fine. It'll be somewhere around this number. Okay? should be okay because um, they might have like a little patch update or something to Minecraft and then there's another file or something so it should be around this number so you want to compress that and it'll do its thing that little thing will pop up um, you want to make sure you press kind again and then the arrow will be pointing down and scroll up and then you want to copy this archive so copy it Okay, so we are actually, one second, um, our archive, I'm trying to find it, this was our archive right here, we have copied it, we are going to paste it in this folder here that has, that had your Minecraft, right? Um, you want to paste it in there, and then rename this Minecraft dot jar. So this MCP will now think this is minecraft.jar, but really it has mod loader and stuff installed. And um, this tutorial is running a little bit late. Um, anyway, so now, what the heck's going on? Um, now, I'm like stuck. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is inside the MCP folder again. Um, what you want to do is open up Terminal, and I'll explain how to do this um, for a PC as well. But what you want to do in Terminal is go CD, and make sure that there's a space here, because I get people who say it doesn't work, and I have to say put a space there. So it's CD space, um, 
and then your MCP folder, like your actual folder wherever it may be. So like it's in my downloads here, so you want to drag that into here and press enter and it should look like this. All right, you shouldn't get any errors. It should look like this. So this is my dad's name, Lane Trotter, Mac Pro, um, MCP 70A, and then like the name again. What you want to do from there is just simply drag in decompile.sh. And if you were on a PC, and obviously you won't have terminal and stuff, um, you don't even need to like do any of this. All you have to do is just simply be out here and just double click on decompile.bat and it'll run a program which will do basically what Terminal is about to do um, for you and you don't have to do anything else, it's really simple. And then just press enter and now Terminal will start doing this and um, yeah so it's going to apply RetroGuard and some other things And I'm not quite sure right now if this is going to um, work, because I probably should have run update MCP first. Um, actually, yeah, let's do that right now. So let's just cancel this. Okay, close. So just do CD space, drag in your MCP folder, enter, um, update. MCP, so if you're on a PC, just double click on the .bat file. Mac, you drag in the sh file and do that, and it should update MCP. And then just go yes. And then it'll retrieve some files and stuff. And now it's done, and then you can do the decompile.sh. So, sorry about that, but it just said it needed an update. So, that's how to update it, just so you know. Um, so now it's doing the RetroGuard, which is a jar program that runs. And then it'll also do um, MC Injector, and then it will decompile them. I don't know if it's my computer right now, or if this is just running a bit slower for some reason, but the decompiling takes a while. So I will actually um, resume this when the decompiling finishes. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so um, it finally finished. It's been about like seven or so hours. Um, no, I'm just kidding, of course, but um, just because somebody's going to be like, seven hours, I don't have that time. Um, but yeah, after it says decompiling, it'll say copying sources, applying um, fern flower fixes, which maybe that's why it's running slower because this has fern flower. Um, and then it'll apply patches, and then it'll say error found, two out of two hunks ignored. That if it says that, that's perfect. It means it's working. Okay, because I get I get questions about that. People are like, it, it said errors found two out of two or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, it's it's working. So that that's good. Then it'll say cleaning it, and it'll say done in 103 seconds. It used to take like 20. Um, so I don't know why it's taking so long now. And then it'll do all this stuff, and it'll end with generating client MD5S. So that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, all you have to do now to actually start, so I'm going to exit out of this, is open up Eclipse. And if you don't know how I'm doing this search thing right now, it's command space and it'll open up Spotlight, then just, or go into your Eclipse folder or whatever. And I don't know if you want to do all that. And then you want to find your. Um, E eclipse thing, my Bob. So this is this eclipse that we're using. I'm just gonna make sure that it's it. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Um, so this is our MCP folder that we're working in right now. Um, you want to go down here. It'll probably be going by date modified. Find eclipse. Just click on eclipse and then go open. And then it'll look like wherever it's in. So volumes, Mac downloads, MCP. This is the important part, MCP and then slash eclipse. Make sure that it's not slash blah 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 after that. Make sure it's just slash eclipse. And then click OK. And eclipse will load up and it will basically... I'm just going to expand this. Actually, there we go. Um, so it's building the workspace now. 30%, 40%, 50%. 
Apparently it's done. In the description here, it's going to say two errors. Um, it used to say two errors and a warning. Now that's fixed. It doesn't say two errors anymore. And there's going to be a little bit of a difference when you go into the client here. So you want to click on this so that the client drops down. Um, and then go into source. And then from source, it used to be like right at the bottom here. And now there's all these like that you would go into to have all the files that you can edit and stuff. But now there's all these other random files and stuff. But it's right here, this net dot minecraft dot source and there are all the uh, files in the game so I can go in here and here are all the things in the game and that is basically that's it um, that's how to set up MCP I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, if you liked it and it helped you out um, then leave a like or leave a comment saying it, it helped you because that way others know that it works and um, yeah subscribe to see more videos um, next video will be how to update your mod if you had it for um, the previous um, 1.2.5 version and um, yeah um, I will see you guys next episode I'm General Awesome and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching Peace out.